Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a quick save. So I'm going to let you guys decide then what, what exit would you like to hear from next. I mean, we have like a couple of categories. And there's like attack, there's uh, logistics, there's defense, there's reconnaissance and etc. Um, quite a few different sections in the book. So let me know if there's anything that intrigues you or you, you can think of. And I can try and find something fun to read. Oh, quite fun. Right, so I do have these fellows. I think what I will do is actually have them moved over here, actually. <laughs> I do not oh, think hate a Borsch. Good to have you, my man. The man, the legend. Right, I could have them moved over this way, but I think I will have them here. Uh, we still have the... Well, I have the ability to move the Panzer Division here, so that's good for us. So what I'll do is have them move to this hex. Which works for me. It means we can actually protect ourselves here. We do have zone of control. Um... See, the thing is I have low detection, but I want to make sure we have forces to cover this. But in fairness, I will have another Panzer Division there. I could actually simply have the Panzer Division move to here to the south, which actually does give us that free hex-wide corridor to work with. Having a unit over here would actually potentially give us information on what we are seeing ahead of us here. The final fluff of your CV at your service. Make yourself sound like a cat. <laughs> I don't particularly mind that either, so that sounds good to me. Right. So if I go north, that definitely secures that hex. If I go this way, well, it's okay. Mike gives additional information, but if Ernest will have information when we get there. I think what I'm going to do is actually move here to the south. It does help secure this position here for us permanently. It gives us that supply corridor to work with. I'm going to have them moved over here to the north. I could probably give them an additional attachment to try and bring that uh, CV up a little bit further. Right, so we are greeted by enemies on the other side. Uh, the 25th Fortified Region and the NKVD. So, not too bad. It doesn't look like we'll be in Piscov here today, but we'll be doing well nonetheless. So, I do have Panzer Jäger, I do have self propelled Flak. How you doing there, Timothy? Good to have you, my man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm now actually taking some assault this time, which is nice. Right, so we'll go ahead and attack here, then. I do not have a choice as to the nature of said attack. It's either hasty or, or, or nasty. Right, move them there. Right, we'll go for that then. Um, we do have Pioneers, we have self rebelled The Fortified Region is shattered, the NKVD has been routed from the field of battle. Now, I might be able to move in here, or not, but I can move on to here. And we'll have them forced out of the area. We do see... Oh, hello. Hello. Ooh. Okay. I didn't have Pitfink. Good to have you, my man. Yeah, caffeinated. Yeah, I mean, this is it. If you've watched me for any length of time, you can definitely tell the difference between when I have the energy. Because I talk quite quickly. And actually, the commentary is fairly on point. Uh, this is what I call uh, rare form. <laughs> you can tell when I'm tired. <laughs> Right, then, what do you guys reckon, then? We could potentially march to the north here. We might actually inadvertently take command of this golf like that. I might be able to drive on. I'm going to go ahead and do it. It's a risky move to make. Is it... Oh, is it a wise move? Is it a move I want to take? I actually... Mm. I can't move them on an air hex further. Uh, what do you guys reckon, then? Because we're going to be low on fuel to begin with. We still have the ability to march across... Well, we'd be across the river, then, so we'd actually have, like, a foothold on the actual other side of the bank there. If necessary, I could potentially fly fuel in there, but I don't think I need it. It would be nice actually to, like, destroy any sort of defensive capability over here and potentially even force them to uh, retreat, really. Hmm. I'm just wondering there, really. I think it might be worthwhile to go for it. I think it would be worthwhile. The reason being, well, hell, uh, we might even take the score in the bargain there. I think that'd be worthwhile. Yeah, but okay, we're going to go. Could go deep. I might be able to disrupt some headquarters around here. So we'll go in. Uh, looks like we do disrupt some headquarters in an airfield there. Do we take the scoff as well? No, we do not. But I do take a little bit more here to the north. So it's a risky as hell move, but I think it's worthwhile. He could cut us off, but I think we should be able to drive on into them anyway. Okay. Brandon looks good to me. So we do drive, and we do get across the actual river, which I think is worthwhile. I think that's worthwhile, to be honest. 
We're across, we're to the north of this golf, so I could sweep south if necessary, but I do want to drive on towards Lake Gilman. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll check on how much fuel we actually have in said tank division in a moment. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and actually share the link here to the stream. See if I can get a few more people on here. Let's see. Hmm. There we are. Oh, wow. Jupik. <laughs> Jopig. Jopig? Jopig. Jupig. <laughs> That's a great name. I feel like I've said it wrong. But welcome, man. Thank you very much for the subscription. Ah, Matrix will. Sorry, Slytherin will appreciate that. Supporters are always appreciated. Keep some people like me coming back, which is nice. Okay. Right, we're looking good there. We've got the infantry moved out. Uh, security can't do too much. We're going to have to move south towards the rail lines there. They have got about as far as they can go. Unless, actually, we've got that there. I might be able to push on a little bit further. It does make me uh, realize I need to have a garrison here. Um, right, let's move out to the rear there so we can actually cover the requirements then nicely. Okay. I'm going to have 4th Panzer Group here. And 16th Army moved up into the actual city of Riga itself. Have the. Oh, I didn't mean to move 16th Army, never mind. 16th Army needs to go elsewhere. Nah, 16th Army can be fine, but that's fine. Eighteenth Army can move out this way as well. Yeah, that's fine. There we are. Make sure we double save so we have no issues. Okay. So we are across the river to Piskov. We haven't actually captured said city, but we're close enough to make sure it's a uh, reality very quickly. Now, I do have the uh, knife armor here. We are going to drive on towards this area here, I reckon. So... Let's see. I do have a division that can be reformed here, and I will have them reformed. I'm going to have said core headquarters move south here to quickly just have you moved in here with the regiments to reform. Uh, we do have core here. I think what we're going to do then is drive on this way if we can, but not worth while getting too crazy on that one. We do have a number of these actual divisions elsewhere. Sorry, these regiments broken up, and yeah, it's not particularly well ordered. Um... I think we'll move in here then to cut off these units. Okay. Keep you there, but it keeps that uh, Soviet division in check. Allows us to hold that flank there without any problems. Have them drive up this way. Okay. There we are. So I do have a number of divisions that we are going to use then. I think we're going to have the divisions push on this way. Push on as far this way as we can manage. I do have control of the rail line, which is exactly what I need. Right, drive on. Hmm. March as far as we can this way. Right, I can push on a little bit further here, which is worthwhile doing. 
So I can take additional terrain here, well, additional territory here, which I'm going to do. Right. Do we have another division here? You don't have command, but that's fine. They'll be okay. I could have them assigned elsewhere, then. Yeah, I can do it by this guy. Right, we'll have you assigned there shortly. Well, moved out shortly. Need to do something first. Go ahead and double save. Ba -da 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 -do 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 -do. Okay. Right, there we are. So we need to move the men of other fronts now. So we need to go ahead and clean this force up, which we can manage. I do have this motorized, I do need to move that. I need to keep them together as cores. Uh, what I'd like to do is try and use this core as much as I can. You don't have much of the way movement, it can move you in there. Right, but I'll shift them south. Uh, and knowing that they can actually go ahead and launch a deliberate attack, which is a bit of a pain in the arse there. Uh, let's see. Have you launched a hasty attack? It looks like they still receive that. Is it five hexes? Uh, I think it's five hex range they can call on spot. I, I think. I was. I always thought it was three, actually. I'm a bit confused on that. Hmm. Yes, they are forced to surrender, which is looking good. Right, we can move them here. Or I could move here and I have it at 11. Right, I'm going to launch a deliberate attack here. Right, shift them to the north, but that's actually not too bad, I can manage that. Uh, I can launch a hasty attack over here, I do not have enough for a deliberate. It does shift them over here as well. Which is actually quite useful because I moves them right there. I can actually launch another attack if I so wish to do so, which is handy. Yep, and they're gone. Excellent. Very economic use of our core. Which I'm happy about. Right, you're part of the same core here, so that should be good then. I should actually be able to use that one core to kill up that uh, remaining Soviet forces here. Yeah, they're gone. Excellent news there. So we managed to clean that up very, very efficiently. Very economically. March you down to the north, clear out that. Get you marching. Excellent. There we are. And that's how you do it efficiently. Wow. That was good. I didn't mean to just take that. Yeah, right, so there's 98,000 men here captured so far. Excellent news. There we go. Bandage. Override that safe. And we'll be good to go. Okay. And that allows me to move the other cores up now nicely. I do have a lot of cores that are somewhat spread out here, which is a bit of a problem. I'll probably have you reassigned, to be honest. I may have you reassigned to that core. Hatch that core is full there. Yeah. I do have this core over here I'd forgotten about. Uh, luckily, we didn't even need to use it, which is excellent. We're a little bit overburdened, but that's not too bad. Right, I do have security forces over here, so I do not need an entire goddamn division. Uh, I'm going to have them moved out this way in uh, preparation to occupy a number of cities out this way. Right, I do have my garrison forces. Uh, is it shift N? 
No, shift K. Yeah, shift K. So I need to go ahead and get a garrison force in here. <clears throat> a single regiment is sufficient to ensure we have control. I'm going to have to have Minsk held, but I do have security forces this way. They're marching north, so we should be good there. Uh, should be good. Move you up this way. Right, okay. What I'm going to do is get these cores moving this way, then. Hmm. Move them here. Right, I do get an opportunity to attack these guys, so I think I might as well take advantage of that. They'll probably retreat. Yep, they do. Their route. Right, their force to surrender, which is good news. Oh, you're assigned to this? Okay. Well, I'm going to have you reassigned there temporarily. Have that placed on the rails? Wow, you're really quite far behind then, aren't you? Okay, looking good. And you know what, I'm going to go ahead and choose another section to read here from the book. Whoa, nearly dropped it. Jesus, that would have been heavy. Oh, that would have been a big bang. Let's see, let's find something interesting, man. Skip a couple pages, I reckon. And let's see. I often find myself really quite intrigued by... Uh, actually gives you a really nice list of the previous publications of the publisher. I'll have to take a look at those. So let's see. Yeah. Trying to find something interesting. Dealing with breakdowns, that sounds intriguing. 127. Let's have a look at that. Right, we'll go ahead and we'll read this section then. Uh, hey, you doing there, Shiva? Uh, we're just playing on normal. I'm looking forward to one of these two. Right, okay. Halt and rest. Deal with breakdowns. So, this is from Panzer Tactics, so we're going to go ahead and read this section. Deal with breakdowns. If a vehicle breaks down, it drives to the right shoulder of the road, or better yet, drives off the road and undercover. The commander gives the breakdown signal to the commander of the tank that follows. That commander notes the location of a breakdown or enters it on his map and reports it to the platoon leader or company commander of the next halt. All tanks continue their march without interruption. If a disabled tank blocks the route of the march, it is towed or pushed to the side of the road. The crew of that disabled vehicle camouflages the vehicle, displays the breakdown flag and sets up security in all directions. The maintenance sergeant at the rear stops at the disabled vehicle, determines the cause of the problem and directs either recovery or repair. If repair is successful, and then the tank joins up behind the next march column and carries on with the march. It then regains its proper place in its own column at the next halt. The position of the missing tank is kept open for it so it can so that it can rejoin. If the disabled vehicle requires a tow, the towing party cannot interfere with the continuity of the march, the entire march movement, and must allow the march come to pass unimpeded. There we go. We'll read a little bit more here. March discipline. As a rule, the companies with attached units move together in a march unit. The company commander determines the sequence in the march, all vehicles crews. All vehicle crews must maintain good march discipline. Maintaining an interval is of primary importance. It is detrimental to any march movement if individual vehicles fall behind without reason and then increase speed to catch up. As a result, the vehicles that are behind, the vehicles that are behind fear losing contact and also increases their speed. That leads to the so-called accordion effect. Some vehicles drive too close to each other, others stay back, and the column loses cohesion. As a rule, slower vehicles are placed forward in the column, 
during the march there are times when stoppages are unavoidable for example at tight curves narrow places and steep climbs if that leads to an increase in the interval to the vehicle ahead the gap should not be closed with any major increase in speed but with a slight increase that results in gradually drawing closer to the vehicle ahead one thing is certain by driving slightly faster all the vehicles can regain contact the march unit commander himself calculates the time required for the march after evaluating the march order he enters the arrival times at the obvious obvious terrain features on the map and is then in a situation to use those features and times to control the accuracy of his column's timing on the march. If he determines there has been a delay or too early an arrival at any control at any of the control points, he can easily correct the pace with a moderate increase or decrease in speed. Because the delays on the march are more probable, the experienced march unit commander accordingly selects a somewhat higher driving speed than the designated march speed. No matter what disturbance may occur in the column, uh, it cannot under any circumstances interfere with the order execution of the march by other march units. If therefore one column or part of it slips out of the schedule of the march, it cannot delay other columns by trying to regain its place in the march or by blocking narrow stretches, intersections, etc. There we go. I hope you guys enjoyed that part. That was pretty cool. I'll have to close the book. No, I thought that was pretty cool. It really gives you an idea of how important... And this is it. We have this sense that, yes, you want to go as fast as you can, fast as you can. But in reality, this is it. You have to maintain... Uh, orderly formations on Mars. Things like that can happen. Obviously, the accordion effect is really quite an intriguing name there. Okay. Uh, not too sure that could up. I was... The last I heard it was the end of 2020, or 2020 in general. Uh, so who knows, my man? I wish I knew. I'm gonna have to find it myself, because I'm... <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, too. <laughs> God damn, I want to play. Right, let's see. Move to the north. A little bit further there, and again. There we are. Right, okay. So we do have our core headquarters here. So we have two divisions, sorry, three divisions as part of our core uh, they can march on. But the issue is I do have a lot of other forces here on the road, so what I'm going to do is actually sort these things out, and then we'll be good to go. So override said save. And go to the next. There we are. Just me a second here. <laughs> there we are. Okay, just had to do something off screen. There we go. Ooh. Okay, just had to do something off screen. That was weird. <laughs> I don't like hearing myself. Right, let's see. Hmm. Right, let's get the infantry marching. I may look towards. I may look towards using the remaining cores and divisions. Well, the remaining core and division of this area, and use them to try and take these forces out. It'd be nice to try and rid ourselves of them. Uh, but I might do ahead and go ahead and do the same with these fellows. Let's get the Panzer forces marching. Uh, and we do have infantry attached to Panzer Group and two. Okay. So I do have you over here. You can't move to engage. You might be able to go ahead and do that. Let's see. You've got 13. You've got 16. You could be one there. So I'm going to move you over here. Try and get the ability to engage said enemy. Uh... Hasty attack might work, probably. Yes, it does. Excellent. So they're gone. That's good. That clears up a lot of enemy problems there for us. There we are. Go ahead and save.
There we go, excellent. So making good progress here, then we'll be able to start pushing towards the center here shortly. It's going to get the rest of the infantry march north, but we have dealt with the Soviet units in a... Well, the Soviet forces over here for the most part. There's not much rear that can cause us any problems right now. Right, so I could move a infantry regiment here, sorry, infantry division here, perhaps. I think that's worthwhile. Uh, so we do see a few forces there. Can I find another division? Yes, I do have another division here. Looks like a part of the same force, so what I'm going to do then is actually have... So seven there, so we'll have them here. Launcher attack. I should remove that one first, if I was going to do this, but I will. Right, okay. Might as well try and move you, try and get something out. Nope. That's a shame. I do have other formations, though. And they can do the dirty. Right, you belong to that division there. So I've got 11 there, so you wouldn't be moving too far. Oh, uh, that's... Actually, wrong. Uh, well, they could move further. What I'm going to do then is... Well, then again, do I have them do the attack event? No. I'm going to get... Mm, let's go ahead and attack that unit. I think it's worthwhile to go ahead and do so. I'm going to go ahead and uh, launch a haste attack. Yeah, they're shattered. Uh, would have preferred something other than shattered, but it's still okay. All right, good. At least we maintain integrity there on the march. Cohesion, I should say. Do have you as far as that division. Okay. Now, I would like to get a security unit over here to Minsk, and I do not know if I'm going to be able to do that. So I may have to use one of these divisions then. But that's fine. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Save again. Make sure we are always, always saving.